I don't think we've made it this far last time. There's sort of like a scenic ledge where you can just go and have a holistic view of the house sound. They were kind of warning us that they saw a bear at the far end of the trail. Hi, we are Nat and Max. And on the last episode, we introduced you all to our family who were visiting from Winnipeg. And although the weather wasn't the best that weekend, Welcome to Vancouver! We were still able to give them a good time and show them the best spots in Vancouver. On this video, the vacation continues. As we drive two hours north of Vancouver to spend a night at one of British Columbia's most beautiful towns, Whistler, BC. It is currently day three of my family's vacation here in Vancouver and unfortunately the weather hasn't been cooperating for the first two days and nothing has gone according to plan. The first day was just constantly raining. I think it poured about 80 millimeters of rain and on the second day the rain would come and go so we really couldn't solidify any plans or activities that we wanted to do that day. We're hoping the weather is a little bit better today. Right now we're here in Granville Island to grab some breakfast because today is Whistler Day. I think the family's been enjoying the view so far. Let's grab some donuts. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like Granville is very quiet today. Yesterday it was very busy, full of people. Picture perfect on the surface. All these illusions that we worship. I see the walls, see the walls come down. I hope someday we'll build them up on solid ground. Yeah. What? <laughs> what do you? Payments, <laughs> please. If you're new to the city, Lee's Donuts is an iconic donut shop located in Granville Island, and they have been serving delicious, handmade, top-quality donuts since 1979. Yesterday, this was half an hour lineup, but now it's just five minutes. We have our box. It also makes a big difference of what time of the day you come here at Lee's Donuts. For breakfast, we just grabbed a half a dozen of honey glazed donuts from Lee's Donuts. I know it's not the healthiest breakfast, but we're on vacation. And the coffee is just a cappuccino from the Blue Parrot Coffee here in Granville Island. Also, this isn't just for us, this is for the whole family. <laughs> we're not eating six donuts. My favorite. These donuts has a lot of flavors, but definitely get the honey glaze if you're undecided. It's just the classic honey glaze, soft, warm donut. Our top favorite! First stop of the day, see the sky gondola. We knew Sea to Sky Gondola can be very busy on some days, so we made sure to book our tickets online and we just went straight to customer service to pick up our tickets. If you're looking to get tickets, we'll leave a link in the description down below for your convenience. I saw a bear! <laughs> Where did you come in from today? Um, we are from Vancouver, okay. but our family are from Manitoba. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, welcome to BC. Are you enjoying your visit? They're yeah. showing you around? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Sleep and dream of better and brighter days. I'll 
breathe the storm till it's come and gone. I won't be scared when my sunlight fades. Life is a rainbow, a pillar made of sand. Nobody in the beach. Only a few people. Welcome to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the last time we were here it was during winter time and we had slightly better weather than this. Yeah, so over here you can see the mountains and the water. But right now it's all white, <laughs> covered with clouds. But we can't really complain compared to the last two days though. Because yeah. at least it's not raining. So I think the clouds are clearing up a little bit. Hopefully if we stay a little bit longer here, we'll see some better views. But right now, all we see is clouds. All we see is white. <laughs> So aside from the gondolas, consider the suspension bridge as one of the main highlights of coming here to see the sky gondola. You guys doing okay so far? Yes! <laughs> I think my mom's a little bit scared. <laughs> this isn't exactly the first time we're here, but it's nice to share like our favorite moments with our family. We're almost there! See the sky gondola has a lot of trails. And most of the people just stop by the gondola or by the suspension bridge to take some pictures. But what you can do is take the trails because the trails has viewpoints as well, which is far less crowded so you can take beautiful pictures. So the last time we were here, I remember it was winter and we were slipping and sliding all over the place. Right now, it's summer, or actually fall. It's fall now, and we're just wearing regular shoes. And it should be fine because the trail isn't slippery at all. But during winter, I think you might need some actual spikes or some snowshoes. It's so nice! Wow! It's all worth it. Look at this. I don't think we've made it this far last time. Yeah, because that was during winter. Right. And we were not wearing the proper shoes. We highly recommend this trail. This trail is called Panorama Trail and it's the iconic viewpoint here at Sea to Sky. It takes 15 minutes to go to the viewpoint and it's all worth it. There's sort of like a scenic ledge where you can just go and have a holistic view of the house sound. So you can see the that's the chief right there, and you can see also the waters over there. You guys can definitely try to come early because it's gonna be tough taking a nice photo because this place gets very busy, especially during the noontime. Lost in the days, waiting at the crosswalk, nothing to say, asked if I was okay. I started to smile, couldn't help myself. After enjoying the beautiful mountains of Squamish, before heading to Whistler, we made sure that we stopped by Brandywine Falls. It's one of those nice views with an easy hike. I think it's just around 5 minutes. So the last time we were here, it was actually winter and also we took the longer way which is coming from the bungee bridge, the Whistler bungee. How long is that one? That was like 2.6 kilometers. But today we took the easier road which is just a 5 minute walk from the parking lot.
We have finally made it to Whistler after a big long day. <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty tired right now because of having to do see the sky gondola in the morning and then we had to do Brandywine, uh, Brandywine Falls. Falls. Even though it's just a small trail, it's still quite a walk and plus I needed to drive two hours up to Whistler. But we just checked in in our Airbnb and this place is pretty nice. I think we also got this for a steal. It's only about $250 per night and that's like divided by five people so it's not bad and I think that's mostly because it's still like the shoulder season here in Whistler so it's not peak season of winter and summer so it's just fall and that's where the prices usually drops so I think it's time for the room too let's go for our room number one I think this is the master suite so we have a king size bed and also Nat and I are going to take over this bedroom we have a full wardrobe here <gasps> look Rooms. We should definitely use that later because this place also has a hot tub and a heated pool and we booked some slots for tonight. We got a TV, our own washroom. Here you got the family. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awkward. <laughs> yeah, so this suite comes with a spacious living room, pretty big TV over there. And over here we got a dining table where we can eat. It also comes with a kitchen suite where we can cook food if we're staying longer. But we're only staying for a night. Over here you got washroom number two. And more closet space over here. And for bedroom number two, we have a double bunk bed. Also we got a pretty spacious balcony over here. No view though. Although I'm pretty tired, the, the day isn't over yet because tonight we'll be having dinner with my other brother, Carlo. Like I mentioned before, they're already here vacationing in Vancouver and we're, they're up here in Whistler today with a group of friends. But they'll be meeting us together with Jem, Carlo's girlfriend. Hopefully she'll be a good night. So we're just kind of waiting for half of our group, Carlo, Jem, and the rest of their friends. And we are about 10 people all occupying the same table. So we are here right now at the Band Village. This restaurant is located at the center of the Surbend. And I guess this is one of the more pricier restaurants in the village. This package that we're using is about $55 per person. Since we're already in Whistler and we have our family with us, why not splurge a little bit, right? And I think you're paying for the experience. Hello. 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 Onion, green pepper, zucchini. Hey. Are you ready? Watch out your eye growing. Three, two. One. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we should try that at home, right? <laughs> On frying pan. <laughs> Three, two, one. Again, again. <laughs> no, no, no. Three, two, one. Oh. Now you pay twice. It has been a long while since the family has been together like this and we had the absolute best time at the Pan Village. After having a nice meal, we quickly rushed back to the hotel and enjoyed the last few moments of the night in a nice relaxing hot tub.
Good morning. As you guys could probably tell, we are going to do a bit of a hike today. But before that, we're gonna grab some breakfast from our favorite place here in Whistler. You guys probably know where it is. But after that, we're gonna take our family and do the train wreck hike, which we kind of did during winter time last year. And the weather is absolutely perfect today. It's gonna be pure sunshine, unlike the first two, three days. But before we leave, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know where we're staying. We are staying in Blackcomb Spring Suites, which is one of the more nicer lodges that we've stayed here in Whistler. Uh, can we please get uh, two spinach feta? Yeah. It's our go-to whenever we have breakfast in purebred. And just a kid growing up in a small town. All I ever really needed was my crew around. And sweatpants, no fear on the t-shirt. Basic kids, but we always had a show. So due to the pandemic, Whistler created this picnic pods, which we think is the best idea ever. Because you get to eat at these cabin-like picnic tables. And what's great about it is your group gets separated from the rest of the other people. And it's just a nice touch with the landscape of Whistler. Before we leave Whistler, we wanted to bring our family to one more spot here. We also highly recommend this spot if you guys are visiting. It's minimal effort, but there's a lot of gains in the end. And if you guys have seen our vlogs, Max is mostly in charge of the GoPro. You probably know this place. This is the train wreck. Who's gonna go first? Dadu and Wout has been bouncing the bridge as my mom was passing. <laughs> Spitting on my mom all the time. Ready to see the bear or the train? <laughs> <laughs> I see the train! It's a good thing that there's other hikers over here. And they were kind of warning us that they saw a bear at the far end of the trail which is the far end of where the trains are. We're trying to keep our distance right now, so hopefully we don't encounter a bear today. So the last time we were here, it was during winter, and we saw a lot of people slipping and sliding. And you definitely need spikes or at least snowshoes when coming here during winter. But since it's summer, it's a lot easier, so we just needed some hiking shoes. I'd highly recommend it doing it in summer because it only took us 15 minutes each way compared to last time doing it in winter. It took us maybe half an hour. At least for me, it's a bit more nicer during winter because you have the snow and it kind of complements the color of the train. So it's just nice to take pictures and videos during winter. So if you guys haven't noticed, this vlog is composed of different moments of us touring our family around Vancouver and Whistler. It's kind of different from our usual exploration videos where we go out there, travel, and do stuff for the first time and experience things for the first time. But it's just kind of nice having some family around and redoing some of our favorite stuff here in BC. We do have one more vlog with them because tomorrow we are going to hop on a ferry and head to Vancouver Island and explore Tofino for three days. Hi vlog! My name is Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> like Let's do it.